morning guys welcome to the channel scuba travel and adventure today I just arrived in a new location that I have never dived in and uh, this lake here that I just showed you here at the beginning it's called Loon Lake and it is located in the East Kootenai near uh, US border with Canada the we have probably about I don't know less than 10 minutes to the to the border uh, this lake here, it's uh, we I found here uh, through my friends. Uh, I came here a couple times camping with the family. But uh, what's interesting about this lake uh, that uh, here we have a lot of turtles, and those are red painted turtles. There's some fish species apparently as well. So I don't know how well or how good of a diving location that will be but uh, when my daughter was snorkeling up down in the beach uh, the water was uh, actually quite clear so I figure this time I show up here and I'll check it out uh, it's, um, it's I found it interesting and uh, I'm gonna give it a shot uh, to see how good it is for diving and that place is about uh, 370 kilometers uh, from Calgary uh, just a little bit west of uh, southwest of Fernie uh, uh, that's uh, in British Columbia uh, so today actually uh, we are camping with family down in Lake Kukanusa which is uh, probably about half an hour uh, from here through those dirt roads uh, yeah it's a beautiful location the Lake Kukanusa is usually warm and also this lake right here when uh, we were here three weeks ago uh, it was like crazy warm and the temperatures here were reaching squirching uh, 40 oh, 46 uh, degrees on some days so we were actually here with my daughter tent camping because usually we take the trailer but uh, that weekend uh, my daughter decided to get a taste of real camping and uh, we took a tent and uh, we stayed here for uh, three nights uh, which was uh, quite awesome she had a good time in the water uh, snorkeling pretty much uh, from uh, early morning like this uh, to and right now we're looking here at uh, eight o'clock so I left left uh, left Lake Kukanusa um, just probably 740 and I'm already here as you see and I just gonna st uh, set up my gear test the gas and uh, go for a a nice little dive hopefully if I won't have to abort it because uh, I'm, I'm just a little bit afraid that there might be a too thick of a layer of silt uh, so I don't know uh, how well is that gonna uh, go but uh, I, it's worth a try so anyways uh, I hope uh, you will enjoy the video if uh, anything will come out of it we'll find out uh, but I have my best intentions and from there I'm just gonna set up my gear uh, dress up and I'll hop in the water with the GoPro and uh, hopefully I get to see some turtles on the water because you can usually see them coming up to the shore and there's like lots of them there's a lot of uh, crayfish as well that I didn't mention um, they're just if you lift the rocks uh, you can find a lot of crayfish and uh, also some kind of a snakes I'm not sure what kind of snakes are those uh, but they're skinny and long uh, I don't think they're anything to worry about so I'm hoping maybe to see one of those uh, swimming through the water because we we saw them actually swimming in the water so I'm not sure if there are land snakes or the water snakes I couldn't get any information also I couldn't get any information on diving in here because uh, I don't think anybody ever tried diving in here but I might be the first one who knows so let's get into the video I'll start setting up and I'll see you later on the water So we have a 33% nitrox for this dive 
uh, this one is here at about uh, 30 almost 35 and this one here is 30 33 so I'll set the computers for the uh, lower one I guess the ground here is super dusty it's uh, the whole area is built like uh, it's evolved in some kind of a sand like it's a really powdery dusty and uh, when it gets wet uh, you get super dirty from it I think it's all from all the pine trees around here I'm assuming that this lake is uh, pretty shallow I don't think it's gonna be deep dive at all because uh, uh, by the looks of it uh, it's not a big lake to begin with it looks uh, shallow uh, when I went even uh, when I went swimming on a deeper section so I don't know exactly how deep it is I'm gonna be able to tell you more after the dive So normally I dive in Alberta which is way colder than here so I am overdressed uh, for sure um, but I think once I get in the water I should be fine um, even though the water is so much warmer but it's not worth to redo the whole system and weights and everything just for one dive here to check it out so I hope I'll be not too warm because this uh, undergarment that's uh, warm, I usually dive in it uh, throughout the year, but it uh, even keeps you warm under ice uh, in a winter diving conditions. And I will calibrate my compass. Since this location is new to me and uh, we changed the location. So we will calibrate the vertex. Also, it's nice to use two computers as a, I can have a compass uh, turned on on one of them all the time and the other one just gives me all the information that I can look at uh, very quickly so or even if you want to use uh, two different screens at the same time so that's uh, that's the advantage additional advantage of using uh, two different computers and of course the biggest thing is uh, redundancy so uh, being redundant something fails you have another one that's the beauty of using multiple compute dive computers and everything pretty much doubled. Uh, like even on your buoyancy system, you have your dry suit, and and you also I ha also have my side mount uh, BCD, so or rig, however you want to call it. So I never usually use my BCD for buoyancy. I always use my dry suit most of the time. Uh, sometimes uh, maybe I just use it to just to tweak it up but most of the time if I'm using just a dry suit it's all good so the worst part of diving is always giving up that's a pain in the butt I have to admit that probably in the fall or winter I prefer to gear up then when it's warm outside and putting all this heavy-duty gear and then you just want to get into that water once uh, once you get up I usually try to take it easy and never rush it so not to get too tired while you setting up everything uh, I don't want to get tired before you get right into the water so that's uh, that's always very important uh, and I drink water I drink a lot of water before the dive uh, every dive I try to have this jug cleaned and also a glass of water in the morning um, especially on a deeper dive uh, you want to stay as hydrated as possible so now it's time to slap on the harness but I have to make some adjustments because one of my tanks is always staying too far too low so I want to move tank rings a little bit further back so that should bring it a little bit higher I should need a hood in here but I'll take it I'm so used to it might as well okay I'm gonna go to the water get wet and cool off and I'll come back and put the rest of the stuff on
just finished the dive it was awesome to see all the crayfish in their natural habitat I've seen quite a few of them uh, underwater uh, they were like all over the place and they hang out in all that silt as soon as you approach them they just dive into the silt and uh, they disappear pretty much uh, but uh, some of them they were sticking out I was able to get close uh, with the camera so that's uh, that's quite awesome uh, and uh, I've, I've seen quite a few turtles and the turtles uh, hang out just down by the shore in uh, little shrubs or whatever you want to call it like algae that's growing in there uh, and uh, once they see you they just bolt and just leave a big cloud of dust uh, behind them uh, so I my dive profile um, as, well, as I mentioned was maximum 26 feet and I planned it uh, originally to go uh, right to the left side uh, to the west side of this lake uh, to the other side but uh, I tried to go closer to the shore to follow uh, the shore and have more uh, little critters there probably and fish but uh, the water was so warm I couldn't take it so I had to swim quite a bit uh, quite a bit uh, quite a ways to the center of the lake uh, where I maxed out at 20, 26 I didn't go any further because I do like to stick to my profile and uh, once I got 26 the water temperature changed a little bit so it dropped uh, and I was able to follow uh, the line that way and I reached the other side uh, it took me about uh, I think about 26 minutes if it more about this area as I mentioned earlier in this video it is located in the East Kootenay just south um, uh, very south part here in uh, British Columbia uh, highway 93 goes south here and uh, we are about uh, less than 10 minutes probably from US border and the lake is called Loon Lake and there is a, a recreational site uh, it's not like actual full grown camp, uh, full blown campsite uh, because there's no hookups no nothing but it's a beautiful recreational site uh, that I came here a couple times with my family and daughter and she has a, every time we were here she has a blast in the water uh, playing uh, during the day with the turtles uh, just on the shore and those are red painted turtles and uh, in the evening uh, with the, all the crayfish uh, you can just lift the rocks and uh, you'll see so many of them and the sites are very nice some of them are located just uh, on the shore and some of them are just slightly deeper into the forest here and uh, there's no major facilities just the outhouses but uh, they're nice uh, this area is nicely uh, kept uh, it's uh, pretty clean uh, I find never found disgusted washroom even though those are uh, outhouses but uh, still very nice and clean washrooms and uh, if I really recommend uh, this dive um, for somebody that's starting it's an awesome place to practice but uh, for somebody that's uh, looking uh, for a little bit more of depth and uh, decompression time that's not gonna happen here I guess uh, it's too shallow uh, but uh, I like to check out uh, all the places that I go to uh, of course I, I was I had in mind Lake Kukanusa but that's not gonna happen the the water over there is just uh, it's pretty much black you can't see nothing I put my snorkel and uh, and uh, my mask and uh, no, no way um, as you see I don't use a snorkel for diving I just grabbed it from my daughter's uh, equipment just to check it out if it's uh, even possible to dive and the silt in both lakes is thick the layer of silt here is very very thick so if you ever decide to come out here make sure you have a really good buoyancy because you're gonna stir up the whole bottom and you will not see anything it's uh, I'm literally talking about probably at least that much silt so if you're staying close to the bottom it's gonna be stirred up anyways I gotta start dressing up and head back uh, to Lake Kukanusa to my family uh, I hope you're gonna like that video uh, if you if you did uh, comment down below and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, share it around and see you in the next video take care for now cheers